Fala fiotes, eu sou o Kalil e você está no Gamer New Games mais uma vez, uma boa tarde, bom dia, boa noite para você que separou um espacinho aí do seu tempo, eu sei que ele é precioso, por isso eu agradeço, né, e vir aqui curtir com a gente e tal, muito obrigado. Galera, é o seguinte, nesse vídeo de hoje nós vamos reagir a novos gameplays e também previews, né, de Space Marine 2, Warhammer 4000. Vocês estão ligados que em algum momento aí vai sair esse jogo, né, se eu não me engano ele ainda não tem data prevista. Me parece que ainda é esse ano, mas eu acredito não ter data ainda. E algumas pessoas ao redor do mundo tiveram acesso a uma hora de gameplay, não sei se se em algum evento presencial ou se receberam essa chave e tal, eu entrei em contato com a Fox para descobrir, quem sabe a gente consegue também, mas acho que não, não vai rolar. Todavia, eu queria mostrar para vocês como o jogo tá. Por ser um game que aqui no Brasil a gente não tem visto muitas pessoas falando sobre ele, comentando sobre ele, seria interessante sim a gente mostrar como é o game. Eu não joguei o primeiro, mas confesso que eu estou apaixonado, vidrado pela continuação. Se você é fã, principalmente aí de jogos como Gears of War, mano, se prepara que Space Marine 2 vai surpreender. Bora lá dar uma olhada no trailer, no novo trailer da Gamescom. Caraca, velho, olha aquela horda, tá ligado? Tá, é só esse trechinho, o trailer, e agora a gente vai dar uma olhada, daqui a pouquinho a gente já vai dar uma olhada na preview da IGN, onde eles falam bastante sobre a experiência e tem mais gameplay. Mas já de cara aqui, galera, é total Gears of War, né? Não digo na câmera, mas, bom, pelo menos na câmera quando você tá atirando, né? Uh, ao que parece, é humanos versus aliens, né? E você tem ataques melee, finalizadores, olha isso, cara, maravilhoso. E você luta contra hordas de alienígenas, tipo o que a gente vê em Guerra Mundial Z, né? É, o game, né? A gente sabe que são várias hordas infinitas e tal, não sei como é que vai ser aqui. Mas aparentemente tá muito, muito bonito, cara. Vamos dar uma olhada aqui no que a IGN fala sobre né, o game. Lembrando, vocês estão vendo aqui o símbolo da IGN, é um conteúdo deles. Todos os créditos pra eles, tá bom? Eles postaram o um vídeo em 4K, por isso que eu escolhi eles pra gente poder dar uma olhada nas opiniões. Bora lá ver. The Chainsword is one of my favorite weapons in all of science fiction. It has the form factor of a medieval longsword, but the blade is made up of dozens of chainsaw teeth that rip and tear into flesh. In a single strike, it captures both the gothic aesthetic and violent excess of Caraca, Warhammer 40,000. And this weapon is the brutal, snarling heart of the long-awaited Space Marine 2. Oh, Deus, cara. I recently played an hour of the sequel to what many consider to be the best Warhammer 40k action game ever made. And from what I've seen, it appears that new developer Saber Interactive definitely understands what made the 2011 original, created by Relic Entertainment, work so well. Space Marine 2 is a shooter melee hybrid that falls somewhere between Gears of War and Doom, a linear third-person campaign filled with intense, gory monster battles. And like its predecessor, it appears to be unapologetically straightforward in its pursuit of increasingly bloody encounters against overwhelming odds. The mission I played, aptly named Invasion, had me carve a path of corpses through jungle swamps and concrete bunkers during the early stages of an alien attack. 
the invading Tyranids arrive in swarms, courtesy of Saber's impressive World War Z engine, which can oh, render a berry. thousand enemies on screen. A tidal wave of raptor-like hormigaunts, supported What's by handfuls of imposing warriors, crash against barricades and buildings. They even clamber over each other to form writhing towers that oh, scale yeah, sheer walls. While at range your guns will easily tear these crowds apart, there's simply not enough ammunition in the galaxy to hose them all down before they break through your line of fire. That's where Space Marine 2 switches into melee mode, and the satisfying strikes of its chainsaw come into play. Shooting feels sturdy and powerful, Oil but it's in the middle of the 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 that Space Marine 2 ah, really man. comes alive. Saber has put together a well-judged melee system that has depth thanks to combos, parries and dodges, but is still simple enough for you to largely revel in the slaughter. The smaller Hormagaunts are essentially powerless against your strikes. Those that try to leap at your face can be caught mid-air and slammed into the ground for an instant kill, but the sheer number of them means they can gnaw away at your armour. Should they break through, they'll be able to damage your precious health bar, which is primarily replenished with rarely found medical kits. Staying alive in the midst of these hordes, then, is not quite as easy as as it first seems for your 8 feet tall, armor clad ultramarine. This is where Space Marine 2's executions come into play. They're a bit like Doom's glory kills. If you can perform a brutal execution move on an enemy, part of your 4 segment armor bar is replenished. The bigger and nastier the enemy, the more armor you regain. And so when fights in my demo began, I instantly sought out the bigger warriors. They're a much more imposing challenge. With arms made of swords, they make for a proper duel. Parries are vital, as is watching out for unblockable attacks that you need to dodge. Performing a good counter or a stun combo opens them up for a point Allow like bear, yeah. shot to the face. Do enough damage and you can eventually trigger an execution finisher. Ah lá, These mano, are glorious and gory, and gory, with tá the chain sword cutting its way through flesh and bone in a spray of blood that repaints your blue marine red. But the real prize is the replenished armor that keeps you in the fight. <laughs> <laughs> and so <laughs> appears the flow of Space Marine 2. With so few medic packs in the demo mission, I desperately needed to keep my armor topped up. In the latter half of my hands-on, I had just a smidge of health left, and so my survival completely hinged on my ability to keep those executions coming. It altered how I approached each encounter. I'd thin out a crowd with bursts of gunfire and grenades, but ensure plenty of targets remained alive so I could charge into melee and perform those executions. It made the entire second half of the mission a tense battle for survival. My Ultramarine's life quite literally depended on tearing the guts out of disgusting Tyranids. What I'd like to see next is how that melee system scales and evolves with different enemy types. This demo was pulled from the campaign's second mission, and featured just two main Tyranid types, plus some exploding poison bugs. But Games Workshop, the company behind the Warhammer 40,000 universe, sells over 25 different Tyranid creatures for the tabletop game, and there's even more in the lore. Nossa, While I love the horde effects bicho, created man. by the Hormagaunts and the melee duels with the warriors, they're likely not enough to sustain an entire campaign. My hope is that the story frequently offers offers new challenges via bigger and stranger Tyranids, such as the towering Hive Tyrants and flying Gargoyles. If each type of Tyranid builds on the melee and shooting fundamentals in different ways, then I think Space Marine 2 will avoid exhausting itself within a few missions and prove a real blast. While the range to melee combat cycle kept me engaged throughout the demo, the constant love for the 40k universe had me delighted. Saber clearly knows its stuff. Your protagonist, Lieutenant Titus, wears lore accurate Primaris armor. He fights alongside a regiment of Cadian guardsmen outfitted with lasguns and basilisk cannons pulled straight from the tabletop. The Tyranids are a hive mind, and so killing the more senior warriors stuns surrounding enemies as their synapses are severed. Yeah. And across just one mission, I used almost every type of modern bolt gun, from the basic rifle to the tactical carbine and the turret like heavy bolter. Each has a different firing pattern and effective range, which made them distinct despite each using the same explosive ammunition. For more devastating results, I had to play around with a melter gun, which evaporated dozens of Tyranids in a single trigger pull. It made me excited what to see how many Isso, other wild weapons from the setting are included in the full campaign. Fingers crossed for a Neo-Volkite pistol. We must focus on taking down the hive. Best of all, every weapon I picked up was a good, old-fashioned shooter gun. No stats, no mods, no power levels. You pick them up, pull the trigger, and the alien splatters across the ground. This is definitely a modern iteration of Space Marine thanks to the melee combat, but in this mission at least, the uncomplicated spirit of late 2000s campaigns is loud and clear. 
I've been waiting for Space Marine 2 for over a decade. For 40k fans, it's a pretty big deal. It's a big deal for Games Workshop too. The latest edition of Tabletop Warhammer 40,000 is also focused on the war between the Space Marines and the Tyranids. This game is at the very center of the universe, but I think that faith may be rewarded. I really like what I've seen so far. A solid balance between the simple linear shooters of yesteryear and the complex melee fighters of today. An entire campaign of what I played in the demo risks becoming repetitive, but there's an entire entire universe of weapons, enemies, Olha and concepts louco, to build velho. a varied set of missions around. I hope that's what Saber has done. Because, as my Primaris Lieutenant stomped up a ramp made of a thousand Tyranic corpses, it was clear that Space Marine 2 has at the very least fully captured the grimdark spirit of the fearless Adeptus Astartes. For more from Space Marine 2, check out the latest trailer. Mano, and... absurdo. Lindo demais, lindo demais. Tá, a gente já tinha visto alguns trailers né, há, há um tempo, né, quando eles lançaram e falaram sobre o game em si. Mas isso aqui, cara, olha isso, cara. Eu não tinha visto ainda um gameplay um pouco mais sólido, né? Mostrando algumas das mecânicas. Olha esse bicho, velho. Ele vem defendendo até você atacar. Tem que esperar ele dar o, pé, o, o ataque. Você dá o parry perfeito. Ele fica brilhando igual Doom, aí você vai lá e finaliza. Olha isso aqui, mano. Parece Guerra Mundial Z, mano. Olha lá que louco, tá ligado? Isso aqui vai ser divertido demais. Embora ele tenha mostrado aqui só o, o single player, eu tô ligado que o jogo pode ser jogado em co-op também, né? Pelo que eu vi em outras análises e tal. E jogar isso com outro amigo, cara, como Guerra Mundial Z, né? Detonando um monte de alienígena. Olha lá isso aqui, mano. Mano, vai ser lindo. As finalizações eu achei maravilhosas. Olha lá, quer ver? Olha lá, ele vai mostrar, ó. O jogo tá brutal, brutal. E como eu falei pra vocês, eu não sei ainda o momento exato que o jogo vai sair, né? Eu acredito que não tenha sido anunciado ainda. Eu dei uma olhada aqui, cara, pra não falar besteira pra vocês. Quer ver, ó? Eu vou até... Vou até ver aqui agora no Google, mas eu acho que não tem mesmo, cara. Bom, qualquer coisa eu vou colocar no comentário fixado, tá? Mas comenta aí, você tava sabendo sobre né, o Warhammer 4000 Space Marine 2? Não tava sabendo? Tinha visto esses gameplays? Não viu? O que, que você acha que vai ser esse game, cara? Você acha, pelo que você viu aqui, é algo que sacia né, a sua sede, a sua fome de Gears of War novo, sei lá. É uma pegada um pouco diferente, mas tem muito ali do suco do Gears, né? E eu gosto muito desse tipo de game. Pra mim tá animal, mas quero saber sua opinião também, beleza? Forte abraço, é nóis, valeu!